Method 1. Correct bad BIOS settings. Hard drives are commonly connected to motherboard SATA or IDE ports. If the port that hard drive is connected to is disabled, the computer will not detect hard drive and you will get a message, no hard drive detected. At this time, checking the BIOS settings can help solve the problem, especially when the HDD not showing up in disk management. The hard drive with Windows should be at the top of the list, which is another question you should pay attention to. You can change the boot device priority in the computer's BIOS setup if it isn't at the top of the list. Method 2. Check hard drive cable. A hard drive not being found may also happen if the computer isn't physically connected to the hard drive. So you can check the hard drive cable to ensure whether it has a loose cable connection or the SATA cable and power cable may have worn out. If it is, you can reconnect the cables from both the hard drive and the motherboard, or replace the cable with a new one. Method 3. Check and fix drive error. If your external hard drive is suddenly no longer detected on your computer, you can run the error checking tool to overcome this problem by navigating to Properties, Tools, Check. or you can enter command prompt window to check and fix the error. Press WinR to open run dialog. Input CMD and hit enter to open the command prompt window. Type this command and press enter. If you are fortunate, your hard drive may be accessible after checking. Method 4. Rebuild MBR. MBR is an important section on the hard drive for the proceed of booting the PC. If it has errors or is damaged, the boot device not found will happen. So we can try to rebuild MBR for your HDD, this way is not available for SSDs. Next, I will show you how to rebuild MBR with this tool. It's free, you can hit the link in the description to download it. To fix MBR, here you need to right click the hard drive, select rebuild MBR. In the pop-up window, set the type of MBR for the current OS. Click OK, apply and proceed to start rebuilding MBR. After that, you'll need to reboot your computer. Thanks for watching till here. I'll see you in the next two videos. If you have any questions, please leave comments or email us.